Hi y'all, welcome to L and L Honeycomb Homestead. Today I'm gonna be showing you and doing a little tour before next year for my homestead as far as gardening. Um I'm gonna be doing uh my gardening, I'm gonna be doing herbs, I'm gonna be having some chickens next year. I'm gonna be having the works, y'all, and I am so excited for this. So I'm coming out today because it is pretty today because tomorrow it will be raining. But I'm going to give you all a tour of what's going on out here and what we have came together on and getting our garden ready for next year. So uh, I'm going to show you the layout and I hope you all are enjoying this view. OK, so here we go. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see what's going on. Okay, so we're going to go in this little gate here. And I'm going to show y'all what's going on. So here are my beds. It's going to be permacultural style, but I made some beds. And each one of these beds are filled with wood chips. This whole yard is filled with wood chips. So I'm going to be showing y'all a go around of what it's looking like. Um, I got all this going on. I got bags over here that's going to be mulched down into good soil for the garden for next year. And I'm excited about that. People gave me their bags of leaves. And to be sure, y'all, make sure y'all when y'all get leaves, make sure that the leaves that you collect from people, that they don't have, um, you know, the pesticides and stuff like that they got in their, you know, in their soil. You know, because it goes into their soil and then onto their leaves. So you want to make sure that they don't have any of those things going on in their, um, in their yard and stuff. Because you don't want that transferring over into your garden you know and and kill your crops and stuff so got all that going on right here in this pile right here and um over there i got some sticks because they're going to be going in to some of my beds and so they can break down as well i'm gonna break them down and break them up really good and have them going off into the into the um beds that I, i'm doing up over here is my compost bin. Those three, and that's on the outside where I can get to those as well. So, um, here I will be showing you the beds. What you see right here, um, I had another project going on but we're going to break those down and have them on each and one of these beds so that way we can have like miniature greenhouses and over here I got these little stakes up because I'm going to be putting my tomatoes and stuff over here and everything so yeah all that's going to be happening and uh, so these are the beds that I have Inside some of these cinder blocks, I will be having my flowers in those. And, um, and that will help as far as the crops to keep the bugs and stuff straight away, away from my things as well, too. So, um, yeah, still got some work do that I'm doing out here before next year. So that's what it looks like as far as on the inside of this part of the garden of the yard. Okay. And as I close this little gate up, I'm going to show you some other stuff that's going to be going on. So as I'm walking on in here, I will be showing y'all some more stuff that I am composting. Got some compost off in here. And here are some more leaves that's breaking down. Now, 
it was way up here but it's breaking down as you can see I gotta stir it up some but I got that going on then over here we're gonna clear this out and we're gonna put a gate here because here I will be building the uh, chicken coop and that's gonna be the run all the way down to the end of the end so yeah for my little chicky chickies And okay, and this is a pecan tree. We had a lot this year. Those squirrels were having fun. Gotta watch out for them bad boys here to get over here into this garden, which we don't want. And I will be showing you what's going on over here. Let's go. So as we go into here is the honeycomb y'all and in this honeycomb i will be drying my herbs i'll be doing my canning i will be doing um tinctures getting my plants and stuff ready in there and stuff like that and these logs that you see here I'm going to be having my flower beds and my plants and stuff going along the perimeter right here. All the way around and I'll show you what's going on over there. And also, um, I had some, a friend, girl, give me these two iron things that went with the bench. And I just stuck some wood up there just so I can get an idea of what size piece of wood and everything that I need to have because I want to put a bench right there um, in this pot and then on this pot over here I have some um, myrtle crepe tree bushes and I can't wait to see them bloom next year <clears throat> over here I have some rings and I will be putting herbs off in those and then I made a two tier shelf and I wanted to make another one and these I got from Lowe's they were free to put plants and stuff in and everything and um, here I'll be putting some more flowers I'll be putting some more flowers in these pots as well found these on the side of the road these were like little finds too i'm gonna put them against the fence and everything and have them up in there as well and some more pots and as we go over into the other side this right here is in the making of a greenhouse um got a lot of people that gave me a lot of windows panels and um so yeah that's in the making as well we already got the foundation down and we're getting ready to put up the frames and put in the windows here um probably next year well i have some help but yeah um i will be putting some more um stuff over here in this area making a little bed over here still work a little work in process before next year roll around here i'm gonna make sure i have everything done behind the honeycomb from the opposite side when i showed you before uh <clears throat> you'll see here these are where all the, ch the chickens are going to be coming towards this way because the coop will be over there on that end so I'll have a fence over there and then I'll have the coop over there where I can collect the eggs. And then over here, they'll be able to come up through this way. And they'll be closed off and I'll have an overhead so that way uh, I won't have to worry about them getting attacked or anything like that. And I will be planting stuff off in the tires as well. So as you're looking in on this side right here, like I said, the greenhouse and everything will be over here on this side. And I will be having some more um, vegetables and stuff growing over here and have it nicely decorated. This was a find on Facebook Marketplace. And that was $5. I'm going to put some flowers in that. And 
Um, as you walk around here, this will be like the opening of the greenhouse, and that's what it's looking like on that end, as you can see. And I had some cosmos. They played out, but I collected the seeds from that. And this will be a sitting area. You can sit down and look over into the garden. And I'm going to turn around so you can see. And that's what that's going to look like right there. Like that. And, um, so, and this is what it's looking like over here at the l and Homestead. And, uh, if you have any, y'all have any questions or anything, suggestions, um, I'll be interested in hearing from you. And, uh, yeah. It's a lot of work. Um, in case you were wondering how I got all these wood chips, if you go under chip drop, you'll get some free wood chips, y'all. Free wood chips. Um, if you look at my other videos, you can see I do everything budget friendly. So, yeah. Wood chips were free. A lot of stuff was given to me. Had a lot of help out here. Um, still, although I work in progress, but um, it will work for next year until I can get everything else done. So, hey. Thank you for showing up on l and &L's Honeycomb. And um, y'all have a wonderful day. Bye.